I was already somewhat lukewarm about Season 2 of Stranger Things. So when I finally checked out Stranger Things 3, I surprisingly found myself liking it far more than I had anticipated. Going back to what I originally had expected Stranger Things to be, which was an anthology series with each new season giving us a new cast of characters, different small town with something crazy happening that the kids have to deal with. And obviously, Stranger Things never went that route, and instead now sees itself pushing the believability limit on what audiences can handle. That's one thing about Stranger Things 3 that I thoroughly did dislike, as it presented several scenarios where it's incredibly hard to believe and take seriously. Like an entire Russian military base being allowed to be set up in the US during the Cold War, or that some kids are able to sneak in and out of this heavily defended base. Amongst a few other situations that would never work in real life, or heck, shouldn't even had work to begin with in this universe. With that said, Season 3 does a very good job in keeping you entertained throughout it all, and that in turn sees you accept a lot of what you see on the screen. Granted, the first few episodes are a slow burn, but things start to ramp up quite well halfway through, where I didn't even find myself questioning some of the nonsense happening, all because I was too busy enjoying myself to really care. Not to mention that Season 3 also mimics several things that made the first season so great, such as having groups of the characters spread out and dealing with their own side stories, only to then all of them be reunited at the end to deal with the main problem of the season. And that's what I think Season 3 does better than Season 2, as it follows a formula that simply worked wonders for the first season. Not to mention there's a great chase sequence and no real bad episodes to speak of like Season 2 had. Also, we have to talk about the main featured set piece of Season 3, which is the 80s mall. And while some may not like it due to the subtle product placement, I personally loved almost every scene that took place in there. It's part of something that Stranger Things does so well, not only showing us the nostalgia of the 80s, but at the same time, kind of letting us live through that time, which the 80s mall was the perfect way to do it. Character-wise, we're dealing with the same main cast as before with one new addition to their crew, Robin. She's great, and her chemistry of Steve makes almost every scene the two are in always something to look forward to. Another interesting thing that I liked was reintroducing minor characters and giving them a bigger role, such as Lucas's sister Erica and Murray. What else Season 3 did great is have some memorable 80s movies that are either referenced or used as influences in the show, such as Terminator, Return of the Jedi, and my personal favorite, Invasion of the Body Snatchers. Even though technically that's a late 70s movie, but yet Season 3 takes a lot of influence from that movie, so okay. <laughs> Overall, Season 3, while slow at first, is definitely worth the wait. It'll surely give you some head-scratching moments, but with how much you'll be enjoying yourself, then you won't really mind it too much. Granted, with the way the series is going, and Russia likely to play an even bigger role in Season 4, then the believability factor is really going to start reaching if it wasn't already now. But that's my take on Stranger Things Season 3. Hopefully you found it enjoyable and informative. And if you've seen the show already yourself, then do let me know in the comments down below if you liked it, hated it, or were somewhere in between, as I'm always interested to hear what you all have to say. As always, I'll see you guys on the next one.